big no-no. Ah, no, no, no. Hey everybody, so for today's video, we are in Dungeons of Eternity. I have actually only played two dungeon raids. That was with one of my friends uh, while she was online also. And I recorded one of them, but it didn't really turn out that well because the audio in the game was kind of weird. So we did an Oculus call and then it, I don't know, it, it just seemed off or whatever. It, it, it was a fun game. It was fun raids. Uh, I wanted to hop into this game again just because it is enjoyable. It's a fun game to play. The graphics are amazing. Even the Quest 3 graphics, I mean, it's just phenomenal. You can see stuff a little bit moving up there, probably. But I really, I, I, I wanted to start playing other games or getting other games uploaded to my YouTube channel because it is not just a Ghost of Tabor <laughs> VR gaming channel. It is a VR gaming channel altogether. Now... I am only a level five because of the two raids, but let's just go through. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing on this one. Is this a, nope. Let's collect stuff. Oh, there's a lever there. Oh. Wait, what? That's, that's weird. Okay. Oh, sh Of course, I don't think I have any, in any inventory. Or any keys in my inventory. I, sh I don't have any keys in my inventory to get that, so. Uh, yeah. At least I have something in my inventory now. Well, I guess that's something I remember to come back for. I do like this game, just the feel of it. You got bows, arrows. You came with arrows. Okay, you know what? I am getting hit a little bit, so I gotta be careful. This is a very fun uh, multiplayer game. The one benefit about this game too is it goes based off of your quest friends list because it is a quest only game. So what that means is anybody that you're friends with in quest that also has this game will automatically be on your friends list. Okay, I'm not sure where that is going. Let's collect some more coins here. And I think that's one of my favorite things about this part. I don't have any keys. Alright, and I'm guessing... I think that's one of my favorite things about this game. Whoa, what the heck? Am I already a boss? Oh, jeez. All right. Is a Mario yet? Okay, here we go, guys. Go back to hopefully shooting you. Okay, you're done. Whew. Okay. <laughs> that was a little intense. The music's still going, so... Might have more. Oh, okay. And one thing I noticed is you could use your bow as a sh <laughs> to block shots.
Okay, I got more guys running over. You're just shooting fire over my head, so... Man, you're pretty tough, aren't you? Destroy all these things in advance. Oh, man. So I will say, I know this game is made for 10 and up, but at the same time, it is a little intense. Ah, no. That's my health, okay. Um, X. Got him. Okay. <laughs> One of the best things about this game, though, is you do not have to worry about reaching and grabbing stuff. You just hold the grip near items, and it, it gives it to you. So, I really enjoy that, <laughs> just because... Oh, yep, actually... That? Okay. It makes it so much easier to pick stuff up. Crystal. What I need is. Is this gonna poison me? No. Okay. What I need though is I want to find a magic wand. Because you can use wands instead of bows, I'm pretty sure. And other things like that. Yeah, I think it'd just be fun to be able to move around with a wand. Oh, there's a key right here? Okay. Or a chest right here for the key. Let's see what we get. Okay. Alright, we got some coins. Single pouch accessory? Oh, alright. Watch out for traps and things. I see coins right there. Okay, so that needs a key. One thing I learned from the first two dungeons I did, always break barrels away from you and other stuff if you can. Just because. You never know what's gonna happen. So there's bomb barrels, toxic gas barrels, there's spiders and different things that come out of them. You took a lot. You hit me. Alright. But yeah, there's... Uh... What was that? That needs a. I don't. I've only found one key. What the heck? All these rooms need keys. Oh, this looks like an end game part. I wonder. Okay. 
Okay, we can't seem to climb that. Okay. Well. Take it. Take it. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing on this one. Okay, so I know I gotta repair that. Which means, let's see what I got, so... Oh, I do have them, okay. So I'm at the end, all right. I don't need that anymore. Uh... <clears throat> so we're at the end game boss fight, I guess. Because I know part of it is repairing that for this one. That first <laughs> room I went into, I almost felt like a boss fight. But who knows? Oh. Slot full, okay. Anything? Ooh. Okay, so there's a key there, so I can go back. Let's go back. I mean, nothing initiated a fight here, so we'll go back. Find out whatever's in that locked room. This will take this. Yeah, just the convenience of being able to reach out your hand and grab stuff and it comes to you is so nice. So nice. Okay. Spooky dark room. I'm not sure if I'm a fan. And of course I don't have keys for this because for whatever reason I can't find any keys. You know, we cleared out all the monsters Let's just go back. I'm going to double check. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just go back, finish this off. I don't know what I'm missing. Apparently I'm missing keys. Don't know where those keys are. I'll double check in here again. Oh, this, this. Yeah, and if you're ever unsure, you just walk up to something, get close to it, and hold the grip button. And if there's something there, it'll pick it up. Which is nice. Okay, well. Apparently, I was not missing anything. Or at least not that I could see. It just isn't there. So let's finish this off. So benefits of this game, like you could see the dungeons don't take super long. So find the batteries, okay. One battery. And the other part about this game too is it actually gets more difficult the more people you have in. So if you why don't you hit okay if you come in with a full squad or like a full group or even two like it it becomes a lot more intense. Right, let's switch this up.
Come on, need more batteries. Need more batteries, where you guys at? This is a, uh... oh, there you guys are, okay. Ah, why am I missing? Did it block? No, it did not block. What the heck? Kill. And this music is pretty dang awesome too, I will say. Oh, you got archers now? Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wanna play that? I wish I was better at aiming. Is there anything? Okay, nothing's coming up behind me. Did it just deflect with his arm? Oh shoot, I need to... Heal, that's one of the things I like about this game though. What, you could jump? No. Come back here, come back over here. Final, oh, shoot. Nope. No, 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 no. That is a big no, no. Ah, no, no, no. What? I was, oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, so the other eyes are going away. I cannot apparently uh, shoot very well while moving around just because I use the directional. Um, wow. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that did not go extremely well. Uh, but yeah. So fun, quick interactions. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get better with actually moving around while, you know, uh, being shot at, so <laughs> it's all right. It's still, like, you can see, like, it's it's a really good interactive game. Um, just, just how the movement goes and everything like that. Hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Yes, I am going to still be posting Ghost of Tabor content, but remember this is an overall gaming channel for VR gaming, not just a Ghost of Tabor channel. Uh, I will still be doing at least two to three Ghost of Tabor videos a week. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to do, but you know what? I enjoy this game, so we'll see on there. Uh, hope, hope you guys have a great day and see you in the next one.